Yeah, once a few months go by for me, you know, it's uh, I start hounding uh, Sean Shelby and my manager to to, to book me a fight, and uh, you know, it, it, the, the more you win and the, more, the longer you've been around, sometimes that takes a little bit of time to find the right matchup. And obviously, we were supposed to be fighting Iaquinta, and things got mixed up there. But I I, I got a great opponent, and a, you know, a, a beast in Charles Oliveira, and uh, I'm excited, man. I've been doing a lot of commentary and seeing a lot of this close up and cage side and it's time to to make that walk myself on, on Saturday. I think it depends on how you are as a fighter and, and how your mind works. You know, uh, for me, I'm not one of those guys that sits at home every single night and watches where Charles's left pinky toe moves when he puts his right hand up to throw his left kick. It's a fist fight and He's better at jiu-jitsu than Al was at jiu-jitsu, but I'm still training jiu-jitsu pretty much every single day. I'm kickboxing every single day, and I'm wrestling. I'm doing all these things. I just have to change how I apply my pressure or how I apply my strikes. It's slightly different. It actually made it a lot more fun for me and Duke because of how Charles kind of does his stand-up. It allowed for a more exciting matchup. I'm not looking for that big right hand. I don't have to be as elusive as I was going to have to be with Al. I'm going to let let things fly a little more with Charles. This is what I do. You know, I love calling those fights. It's fun. It's something I do want to do full time when I'm done fighting. Um, I want to do it as much as I can in between fights as well. Uh, but, I mean, I'm a fighter and people are kind of, you know, sending me some tweets being like, man, if I was you, I'd just be commentating. It's like, look, who nobody cares about just the commentator what they care about is the fact that I'm who I am as a fighter and can do and can add my you know point of view to to the fight cards and talk about it but first and foremost I like to go out there and throw down and, and put on exciting fights it's, it's it's what got me where I am it's what got me that job opportunity is because of how I go into that octagon and do what I do on Saturday night uh, it's been a it's been a good year career wise you know uh, but still, at the end of the day, I lost my dad this year, um, and he's 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 you know still something I think about a lot when I'm at Roof Sport and kind of in the moments when I'm by myself in the hotel room. So, you know, again, this one this one's for for my daughter, for my mom, for my dad who passed, my brothers, my family, and and the people that kind of live vicariously through what I get to do. So, you know, I feel like I still got a lot of pressure on my shoulders to. To end this year strong and and get a win, of course. But to more importantly for me, it's always been about just fighting my balls off and putting on a show. And and as long as I do that, I can walk out of there with what whatever result. Yeah. You know what I mean. And Christmas is coming up, and not even about buying gifts. I just cannot wait to just hang out with my mom and my brothers and my family and my daughter and just kind of be like, Whoa. you know what I mean? It's yeah. it's been a long year. I let sink in, especially before the fight, is the family stuff. My and you know, think about my dad and, and my and my daughter. And then, other than that, I think about getting in there and beating the living breaks off of Charles Oliveira on Saturday night. And then shaking his hand and being a martial artist out about after. But when I get backstage, when I put on those gloves, I have one goal, and it's to beat the crap out of him on Saturday night. I think it's it, it, what's been most fun, most fun for me is seeing some of these people were like, I had no idea that he even know knew how to speak. I thought I always thought of him as some goofy hillbilly because I used to have that mullet rat tail thing when I first got signed. They thought I was just this southern. I'm like, have you read anything about me? I'm from Philadelphia, first of all. I'm not, by no means a hillbilly. Um, yeah, so they thought I was just this dumb like. Huh caveman type guy and it's like nah, I went <laughs> I went to University of the Arts for for theater so uh, that's awesome definitely not a caveman well bring bring them all back and then we'll talk again I know man it's, <laughs> I, I go short and tight for fights now it's much easier to deal with